So that, that should be good. That should be good enough if you have like um, 16 gigs of RAM. But if you have like four gigabytes of RAM. What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new After Effects video. This is the last video of today and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your rendering process. So let's say you just want to do faster rendering videos. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now in this video. I'm going to show you guys how to do this without getting like a better CPU or more RAM or everything else, you know. I'm just going to show you guys how to do that right now in the settings in After Effects. So I would say let's jump straight into the actual video. Okay guys, so we are in After Effects right now and I'm going to show you guys how to, sp uh, you know, speed up your rendering process. So there are a few things you need to do. So let's say you just finished editing and you want to render out your project. It's really simple. You just want to select everything basically that you want to render out, uh, which is this part. Then you want to click on edit. You want to click on preferences and you want to click on previews. Now, as you guys can see on this box, there are a few things we need to change. So as you guys can see the zoom quality, you want to put that from more accurate to faster. And also the, you know, the color management quality also put that one on faster. You want to press on okay. That is the first part. So the next part is really simple. You want to make sure that this button toggle pixel aspect ratio is unchecked. So you want to just click on that and that is not like pressed in. So those are a few um, techniques you can apply to, you know, to speed up your rendering process. Uh, the next thing that you can do is you want to also go to edit. You want to go to preferences again, go to memory and multi compression as you can see. And then this box pops up again. What you want to do is you want to check and you want to click on render multiple frames simultaneously. And what you can do is you can choose how much RAM After Effects is using. So what you can do is you can make, you know, you can put this higher and then it's going to use more RAM. So I would, you know, recommend put this one to seven. So that, that should be good. That should be good enough. If you have like um, 16 gigs of RAM, but if you have like four gigabytes of RAM, I would say keep it on two. But if you have like 16, gigs of RAM or 8 you would like put between 5 and 10 that should work I would say you're pretty much done on that part well what you want to do also is you want to change this one to 1 gigabyte the, you know the RAM and that's going to speed up your rendering also so we're gonna go back to general uh, we don't have to do anything in this preview we have everything on the faster display also what you can do like leave everything how it is import nothing to do output uh, nothing labels video preview appearance everything is you know how it's supposed to be so now you can just click on ok and then what you want to do is you want to click on composition you want to add this to a render queue click on this one boom choose your format i'm just going to keep this on avi and i'm going to click on ok and now i'm going to save this one to my desktop and i'm just going to call this faster rendering click on save you want to click on render and now it's going to start rendering and it's going to be a lot faster than it used to be so i would say that's the end of the video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and that is basically how you render faster in after effects so that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos and also make sure to smash the subscribe button down below for just you know for, for daily content every single day thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys tomorrow for two obs tutorials as always on tuesday um, so I would say thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. In about uh, four episodes, it's going to be the 22nd of May and then I find something else. When I started using video editing software, it was like, I have my own Patreon page. You have fucking troll. Channelpages.com. Kind of nice weather. And I'm a tight with just Alex Halford. You know, yes. it's his channel, so that's a bit of a logic.